there. Thanks for joining me to color. Today we are going to be working on this adorable Whiff of Joy stamp called Cozy Reading. Isn't she cute? That's totally me reading a book there in the chair. <laughs> I will put a link down in the description box to the card kit and all the supplies I used. I would love for you to come shopping with me. And the little cinnamon here, I have made that on my computer, so that is included in your kit, but it isn't a stamp. It's um, computer generated. Um, if you have a question, make sure and leave me a comment and I will get back to you. Otherwise, I have already stamped my image on Nina 80-pound solar white cardstock with Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. So let's color. So let's start out by giving our image an outline. For that, we're going to use W00. And since we're going to have floor down here, I'm going to go ahead and start right here at the bottom of my chair. And I'm just going to go all the way around. And you can make your line as skinny or as fat as you want. I just kind of let the pin go along and that's what I get. And if I do it now, instead of before I color it, if I make a mistake and color my girl or my image, I can erase that without any problems. Let's go around here. Go back down. And back down here around to the chair leg. And I'm going to color this little space between the arm of her chair and the cushion. And there's also a little spot right here by her foot. For her skin, let's use E11, 21, and 00, and for her cheeks, let's use R12 and 11. I'm going to go ahead and start with my E11, and she's got her little hand right here, so let's go ahead and do that right above the book, or above her pant leg. And then I'm going to do a little dab next to her shirt and on her thumb. And then over here, she's got, she's holding the other side of her book, so I'm going to go along like this. And this shirt over here has like a little sleeve, and this one I don't see one, so I'm just going to pretend she has a sleeve and make this go across like here. And then I'll color that little bit green so it looks like her sleeve comes all the way down like on this side. Then we're going to add E21. I'm just going to brush a little bit of that on. And then we'll fill it in with our E00. And we'll go up here and we'll do her face and her neck. So again, start with E11. And let's go right next to her chin or her neck there. And then for her ear, I'm going to do a little dab here inside of her ear. And then I want to bring this down along her jaw. And then I also want to do up here next to her hair. Do a little bit on the bottom of our hair right here. And then we're going to go with E21. So I'm going to go ahead and color this a little bit on the outside in the center section of her ear. And then we want to soften these lines. I'm going to go ahead and fill in her neck there. So I'm going to soften this. And since her face is kind of tipped down, I'm going to bring this around over here. I'm going to bring this out just a little bit more. And then I'm going to fill the whole thing in with my E00. And then we'll add some cheek color. So I've got my R12. And I'm just going to use this little um, spot right here above her, um, her mouth. I'll take a little circle. That will, and then we'll do R11. And I'm just going to widen the circle out and soften that edge. And then I'm going to come back with my E21. And then we'll do E00 again. And if you wanted her cheek to be pinker, you could go over that a second time. For her hair, let's use E47, 44, 43, and then I'm going to add E49 at the end because it's really dark. So I'm going to start with my E47. And let's go do our little pigtail here first. So I want to brush away, and there's a little space here in between her hair, so I'm going to go ahead and color that in a little bit. And then I'm going to brush up, put a few little streaks there. And then over here, we want to add a few little streaks. And 
I like that looks good. Then I'm going to go with E44 or E yeah E44. Make sure I have the right color there. And we'll add a few more of this. And then our E43 to fill it in. Or you can leave some white space too if you like that. I got crazy there and went outside the lines. Let me grab my colorless blender. And we'll just touch that and dab it right back in there. And then I'm going to take my E49 and add just a little bit of dark in there. So let's go from the ponytail right here. Just add a little bit. If I do it first, I tend to do way too much. So this way I just can see a lot better what I've got colored there, and I can add just a little bit. Okay, then we're going to do the top front here. So let's again start with our E47. And let's start back here. I'm going to go ahead and fill this in right here. And then I want this to kind of swoop out. And it's cur I'm trying to keep it curved. So let's do a little bit on this way. And then we'll do this little piece of hair hanging down. And then I want to go away from this ponytail. So let's go ahead and go up here. This piece here, right on the side of her face, kind of goes down this way, like that. And then what do we got? Oh, we got this little piece of hair over here. So let's go ahead and give that a little bit of color. This, and then this cute little bang piece. Kind of curls around, so let's go like this. Add a little bit in there. And I think we need to bring this little piece, this right here is going to have to come up more. So let's go around like this. And then maybe a little dab in here. Okay, there's a few streaks. We'll see how that goes. So now let's add E44. So we just want to add some more color. Let's do this cute little spot right here. And I'll do this one, and this one, and let's bring a little bit over the top there. Okay, then let's fill it in with our E43. Or if you like, again, you can leave some white spots. I'm just going to go ahead and just brush over the entire thing. And then we will add a little bit of our E49, which is our darkest color. So let's go down here behind her ear. And just add a little bit up next to that cute little ponytail wrapper. And then how about the tip of this little piece of hair right here? And then this one that goes behind her little her little piece of hair. That. And then let's come down here. We'll add a little dab in here. Kind of curve it around. Her hair's curving around. And then let's do this little bang piece. I'm going to go ahead and bring a little bit of this up here into the top. And maybe a 
little dab in here. Okay, how about we do a little bit more right here. I'm going to bring this down a little bit. And then I'm going to bring this over just a tad. For the book, we're going to use wire 18, 16, 15, 12, R27, 24, 22, and then E81 and E50. So let's start out here with our YR18, and I'm going to use that to go along the spine of my book. And then I'm going to do a little dab coming up away from her hand and her leg. And then we'll add a little dab of YR16. YR15. And then with our YR12, we're going to do um, the top of this cover right here. Like that. And then for the little heart, we're going to do R27 first. And we're just going to do a little dab along the inside. And then we'll add another little dab of R24. And then I'm going to fill it in with R22. And then for the pages, we'll go with um, E81. I'm just going to go down the center and down here by our hand. And then I'm going to fill it the rest of the way in with E50. But I'm still going to go over that E81 just to soften it a little bit. Her jeans will do next. How about B39, 37, 34, and 32? And I'm going to start with my B39. And let's do right here, you can see a little bit of her pants in the back. So I'm going to color this. Add a little dab. And then over here, let's see, there's a little bit of her back pants showing right here. I'm going to go ahead and do that a little bit. And then for this cuff, it's like this, but I want to give it a wrinkle. So I'm going to bring this up like this just a little bit and go around the top of this cuff. Like that. And then over here for the front of her pants, let's do right along her shirt. And then we'll get down here along her pants bottom. And then I'm going to do above the cuff. And then for the cuff, let's again give it a little bit of a wrinkle. So I'm going to go like this. And then I'm going to brush away from the side. And then I'm going to add B37. I'm going to go ahead and fill this little section in. And this little dab of pants right here. And then we're going to go up. And then for this, let's do up like this. And then our pants cuff. And then we're going to add B34. Color this side in all the way. And then for this side. Leave the top of the knee blank. And then for this one, let's go like that. And then we'll fill it in with our B32. And 
I'm going to give a little dab to that pants cuff over there just to lighten the top just a little bit. So I'll just brush it like this, give it a little bit of brushing. That was our pant leg. And then I'm going to go with my um, B39 again, and I want to make it a little bit of these lines show up still. So let's go around like this. And then for this pants cuff, let's go down here. That, I'm just going to exaggerate those, those lines just a little bit here. There's a couple of wrinkles in her pants. Next, let's do the hair ties, her shirt, and her socks. For that, we're going to use YG 97, 95, and 93. Let's start a pair of hair ties with our YG 97. And we're going to do a little dab here along the bottom. Same for that side. Then we'll add YG 95. And then my YG 93. I'm just going to swirl that around and push all those colors together. And we'll go down here and we will do her shirt. So again, let's start with our YG 97. So I'm going to use this color to brush. There's a little wrinkle right here, so I'm going to exaggerate that a little bit. And then we want to brush along the edge of this chair leg. That. And then we want to do the bottom of her sleeve. And let's see, let's bring this up just a little bit more. And then over here, remember, we're going to give this sleeve, so we're going to give that a little dab of color. Then we'll go with YG95. I'm going to fill this little section over here in. And then we just want to brush a little bit more color on here. And then we'll do our YG93 to fill it in. And then I'm going to go back with my YG97 and add a little bit of dark back in. So let's go right along the bottom of this sleeve. And then I'm going to do a couple of these lines. And then same for her shirt. Add a little bit like this, maybe come up these lines, like that. All right, let's hop over here and do her socks. Let's go over here and do her socks next. So we're going to start with our YG97. And I'm going to color the patches on her socks a different color. So let's go right along the bottom of this sock and along the bottom of her pants. And then I'm going to give this sock a little wrinkle. How about right here? That looks okay. Then this sock, we're going to go down the foot. Let's give that a little wrinkle. And then remember, there's a patch on this one, so let's skip that. Even though when I did the first sock, I think I missed it the first time I colored it. And then we'll do a little dab right here where there's a wrinkle. And then we're going to add YG95. I just want to soften those lines. And then we'll fill it in with our YG93. And then I'm going to go back and put the lines back in with my YG97. So let's go right along the bottom. Our pants cuff. I'll do a little bit by our pants right here, too, even though I didn't do it the first time. So for the patches on the socks, we're going to use R27, 24, and 22. We'll start with our R27. Let's do a little dab along this and the bottom of this foot. And remember, this one had a patch right here, so I'm going to fill that one in because it's way at the bottom. And then let's do a little bit right there. Then we'll grab R24. Let's fill the rest of this one in. Add a little dab up here. A little dab right here. And we'll fill it in with our R22. So 
for the wood on the chair and the little um, braid along the bottom here, we're going to use E59, 57, and 55. Let's start with our E59. I'm going to go ahead and start right over here on this braid. That. And even though we're going to have our um, saying go right across here, you may not want it there. So I'm going to go ahead and just color the whole chair. So here it kind of dips in, so I'm going to add a little bit of dark right here. And then again it dips in over here. And then we'll add E57. And then we'll fill that little bit in with our E55. Okay, so let's work on these chair legs. So again, I'm going to go with E59. And let's do, on this one, I'm going to go down the inside and along the bottom. And then for this one, let's go along the inside. And go over the top of this a little bit. And I'm also going to do around these little bumps. Like that. And for this leg over here, let's do a little dab on the back. Like this. And then for this one, again, let's go down along the back. And then here's a little spot over here. And then I'm going to add a little dab right here where this little line is at. And then we're going to grab E57. So for E57, let's do like this. And then I'm going to fill in this little section back here. And then for this one, let's go around the bottom of the chair and then do a little bit on each of these bumps. So we're going to leave a little bit of space right here in the front for our lightest color. And over here, let's go underneath that. And then we'll add E55 to fill this in. just a little bit more. So I'm going to go over in a little circle and soften that edge. Same for up here. Let's go around, circle over here. Okay, I'm liking that. So let's go over here and we'll add some E59, nope, not E59, E57 to this leg. So we're going to do a little dab. We'll fill that little spot in and then we're going to go across this one. Like that. And then we'll fill it in with our E55. Come down here and brush this one a little bit more. Come up here and brush this section. And then come back down here. Okay, those look pretty good. So let's hop up here and we'll do the arms of the chair. So again, go with your um, E59 first. So I'm going to take my E59 and we're going to go along the back this section and around over here. And then let's go down this little swirl 
and maybe along the back, in the bottom, like that. Then mm, I think I'm going to add a little bit more. Just add a little bit over here. Okay, and then for this arm over here, let's do right where the book's touching. And then we're going to come across the bottom. And then there's a little spot right here that's got a wrinkle, so I'm going to do that. And then we're going to bring it along the bottom. And connect back over here. And then we're going to follow the swirl. Then we're going to add E57. So this one, let's bring this. some over here. And then we'll fill that in with our E55. So I'll go quick right here, fill it in, and then I'll come back and we'll work it some more. That way our paper doesn't get too wet. Like that. And we'll come back over to this side. Let's soften that line just a little bit more. Okay, and we'll hop over here. Okay, so the cushions on the chair, we're going to use B95, 52, 21, and 41. So let's start with our B95, and I'm going to start right over here underneath it for ponytail. Let's go ahead and brush this down this way, and then we're going to come down along the back of the chair, and there's a little spot right, right here that kind of dips in, so I'm going to give it a little bit of dark right here. And then, let's see, let's add this, as long as we're right here, let's add a little bit around her hair. Oh, look right here, I forgot her shirt. Let me grab YG97 and fill that in. I think I forgot it when I colored the first card, too. Um, okay, B95. So we're going to go. I had to color that or I'd just completely forget about it. Go along this. Okay, then we're going to grab B52. And we just want to soften that. And then we'll fill it in with our B21. And then I'm going to go, even though I filled it all the way in, I'm going to go over it with my B41. Okay, so now let's hop over here and do this other side. So let's start with B95 again. So you can see right here, in between her arm and her face, the back of the chair. So I'm going to go ahead and fill that in. And then over here, right here between her book and her pants, just a little bit. So I'm going to give that a little bit of color. And then we want to bring this. Let me see. Let's bring this up here. Fill in this little section, and then we want to go around this stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and go around her hair. Okay. 
And then I went out of lines with my brown right here and I colored it right in with my with the, <laughs> my B95 so it's not there anymore. Then we'll add B52. And then B21. And then B41 to fill up the rest of the way in. Now let's go down here and do the cushion. So again, we're going to start with our B95. And let's go all the way around, but she's got a little spot right here for the chair showing between her pants there. So I'm going to fill that in. And we're going to go down here, and we're going to go around her body. And then let's do a little dip right here. And then around this chair leg. And over here. And then I want to bring this color on the cushion down here at the bottom around this way. And we're going to add B52. And then we'll add B21. And then we'll add B41. And we're going to go right along the edge here just a little bit more. Okay, the front right here, and even though it's covered up again with a sign, we're going to color it anyway just in case your sign is not where my sign was. So the chair cushion dips in right here like we did with the legs. And then same over here, it's got a little dip in. And then we're going to add B52. And then we'll fill it in with our B forty one. So if you wanted your chair to be darker, I would go over a second time just going the exact same colors we did before, but just do it a second coat. So that leaves us with the floor under the chair. For that, I'm going to use E59, 37, 35, 33, 31, 30, quadruple zero, and my colorless blender. So I'm going to start with E59, and I want to come away from the chair leg, so I'm going to go right underneath this chair leg I'm 
And when I did the original card, I just kind of made an X under here, but I think that looked kind of, it just shouldn't have had so much space or so much color out this way, so I'm going to do it a little different this time. So for this one, we're going to go, I'm still going to use the X theory, but we're just going to go in, not all the way across that. And then for this one, we'll go that, and then this side. And then right here in the center, I'm going to put a little dot. We'll see how that goes. Okay, then we're going to add E37. So we want to soften the edges of our E59. this one and then we want to go over the edges of this then we'll grab E35 same thing we just want to soften those edges And then we'll go with E33. Go around our chair leg. Bring this side around. E31. I'm going to scrub this a little bit here in the center. Kind of mix those colors up. E30. Just go right along the edge. Fill in that little tab right there. E quadruple zero. I'm going to go in a circle all the around the outside here and touch some of these lines. There's some like lines on mine right up here, so I'm going to try to soften that a little bit. Okay, and then lastly, our colorless blender. Let's go right over the edge of that E quadruple zero. Soften that first. And then I'm going to swirl it around in here. And kind of smush all of those colors together. Okay, let's do, I think I'm going to add a little bit more of us E37. I'm kind of wanting this to kind of go out maybe a little bit more. I guess the X theory did work a little bit better. So let's go out here. And 
then I'll dab a little bit of E35. E33. E31. And then let's go with our colorless blender. And just soften that all up. Okay, I think that looks better. I'm going to leave it like that. So there is our adorable cozy reading image all colored up. Didn't she turn out cute? And that's the first, the second time I've done the floor under the there. I've done something new, so I thought that was kind of fun to do. Turned out okay, I think. So again, here's the finished card. And for my girl here, I have added some spick glitter pin to her hair, of course, so she can some sparkles. Um, the little image and the mat are, pop, are popped up on some pop dots. Along with the cinnamon, it's also popped up. And then you get these puffy um, stickers in your kit, too, so you can add some decorations to your card there. So I hope you had fun coloring with me today. If you have a question, go ahead and leave me a comment, and I will make sure to get back to you. Otherwise, have a great day, and we'll see you next time. Bye!